Hello everyone, anyone, welcome back to Underrail. I am Zial. A couple things that off camera. One, got myself the process for the morphine shot. And that's why all those lake poppies seem kind of familiar, because you want to process a plant or whatever. You're gonna to want to get a lake poppy and this. Biology 40 is required, and boom, then you got yourself what you need to make yourself a good old morphine shot. Morphine seems like um, after the effect expires, you take damage equal 50% of their of their missing health. It's one of those sort of things where it's like, oh man, you're in trouble, pop this. It's going to give you as much DR as possible. Um, damage resist, I always go with like old school D&D terms. And we're hanging out in the junkyard right now because uh, I w was doing the whole selling thing and doing a lot of that business around here. We're going to see if we how much of this we can do about... Uh, even though we've already blown up the thing. So I'm gonna give her a hundred Sijin coins because I'm not murdering just some guy because he can't pay. Because I'm not a jerk. Here's a guy, here's Sijin coins. Excellent, don't care about details, just the money. Good job. Okay, so. Yeah, so what's the other thing you want done? Go to Captain Broderick there to work. For transport some cargo for us, an earthquake started in a big wave. Knock some of it off the boat. He thinks he knows where I might have washed up though. Ferry over there and look for it. Okay, why does it for himself? I don't know. Some nonsense about the island being cursed. No superstitious sailors can be. All right, groovy. So I'm trying to. I got one XP for doing that. Hundred coins for it. Not the worst thing in the world. So I'm gonna try to see if I can before I make my way back to SGS. Talk to uh, Captain Broderick. So yeah, I'm gonna help you uh, recover the uh, lost cargo. So, Silas found someone derailed enough after all. Looks like I'll take you there, but I ain't stepping farther than the shore. I'm no Quaker, but that place gives me the creeps. Yeah. And he tells me all about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It basically, if you had seen this before, um, it's a matter of, he swear he saw, like, his, like, doppelganger um, on the other side of the shore, and it's creepy. I just figured I uh, ought to, um, yeah. Yeah, then take me there. Take me to Silent Isle. We're going aboard. We're going someplace new. And hopefully, uh, we'll see what's uh, happening around here. We'll stealth up. And let's check and see what we got here. St range feeling. Whoa. Cool. That's a... That's a weird thing. Is something about to try to eat my mind? Thank God the rat hounds are on my side, though. I mean, that's probably the way to go. Considering those would normally be opponents if it wasn't for me being such an... Whoa, doppelganger! Oh, God. Can I talk to you? Uh, the answer is no. No, you cannot. So, to, uh, to battle we go. And let's try opening up with just a, can you be stunned? Can I hit you to begin with? Zero? What did you do to me? Okay. I just kind of want to see if I can even hit him to begin with. Zero damage. Resists 62 mechanical damage. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, let's see, was auto save me going from here to there? Did I, did I do quick save? I was like, oh, no, I didn't. Because that is creepy. <laughs> and I don't know how else to prevent such a thing. Um, if I can't do mechanical damage, perhaps I'll have to do something. Maybe this is one of the sort of things where you need that psychic powers to be able to do this. So we're just going to try to recover this lost cargo and just go as quick as we can. By the rat hounds, by their alpha... 
If not, we're just gonna be running. Damn! The doppelganger is upon us. Well, I think we're just gonna have to avoid it, because there's not much else to be done there. There's a lot of beetles. That's a metal crate, I think. Metal container I'm supposed to find. <sighs> Morphine shut. Adrenaline shut. Man, just terrible flipping luck, am I right? Well, I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So can't move. Let's see if I survive. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that doppelganger, man. That's some crazy stuff. I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive all this. I feel like your best Oh, what's there's a little place in crevice to go. In here, I probably won't survive, but we're gonna give it a shot. To that, oh, I don't have any action points. I'm probably dead. Can't make it through the shields though, and down. Okay, but there is that strange little crevice there that perhaps I can pop in there to recover myself a little bit while I make my way there. So since the right hounds are my friends, we're just gonna run, 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 run. We're gonna try to get to that as soon as possible. Strange feeling still hitting me here. And is the strange feeling going away if you let it, because it, it just stacks too high? Okay, so I see we have something going here. Whoa. What God's name Jehoshaphat is going on here? I got a play of them. Three strange pillars rise from the pool. They're decorated with glowing symbols that are, you are unfamiliar with. And they seem to hum though they were unsure whether they actually produce sound or if it's just all in your head. Leave the pillars alone. Well, if I was a psych uh, psychic person, then perhaps there was something cool about this. So something to keep in mind here. Going to this cave, though, did reset my strange feelings, o meter. So, I feel like popping out here. I do not even sure what I picked up. I just did it very quickly. Periscope part. And what is this? The Lost Cargo. Good enough for me. No reason to get into fights if we don't need it. Let's let the um, strange feeling go away. Because I, I can't deal with that. This might, might be something for psychic characters. Because I have mechanical damages and didn't do the shot. Then I don't know what is. Make sure I don't get picked up by uh, those guys. Let's run. Let's get the... Out of here. F this place. Let's go. Captain Broderick. Yeah, found the cargo. Let's get the F out of here. Perfect. Let's bail. Boom. Okay. Awesome. Whew. Exciting, right? Well, it was to me. Interesting, though. Hi. What's going on? What do you, what do you want? What's up, Doc Master? 
Yeah, about the lost cargo. Yeah, got it right here. Yeah, that's great. Just one little problem. The wormhole's out of order now. The scrapper's fast. The only thing I can do is pay you for your services. Yeah, that's fine. For Ashara's be enough. Sorry to turn on this kid. It wasn't my intention. Doesn't matter to me. I got money. I gained some experience. I'm one point away from being able to level up, which is good. Because I really, 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 etc. Need to. Uh, I can walk from junkyard back to base, but I'm rich, man. Let's take the let's take the boat, take the ferry. Gotta go back to SGS, yo. Yep, the edge of a board. We're sailing on our merry way. Oh, SGS, it's been so long. What's going on? Wonder Tanner's how Tanner's gonna feel about what I tell him. We'll go see him first. Commons, because he's a man of the people. But the cat just meows so dang loud. Just in case he gets pissed off at me. You know, see y'all? All right, I've uh, dealt with uh, braiding Bro Cross's problems, explain how uh, face is made in him. He listens to you calm, and after you finish, he runs his hand over his beard before responding. Hmm, interesting. Did you manage to find out why the face is made in? I have reason to believe that some sort of electric device is currently in the hands of Cornell and the Acid Hunters gang from Core City. Hmm, we must find this item and discover what it is. His voice deepens slightly and becomes a bit more commanding. You must go to Core City and look for the Acid Hunters band and their leader, Cornell. Retrieve the vice room and if he still has it, at least try to find out how he got it. But be careful. It goes without saying that, be that between the faces and their quarry is dangerous. But if this item is important, chances are powerful factions will be looking for it. Make this task your priority, keeping informed of your progress. I. Oh, and we leveled up. Thanks, Tanner. Uh, yeah, who? I don't know about the yo. Yeah. What do this face this artifact actually is? A weapon, or part of it. What else could we go to the face this rise force against Core City? What, who are the Omega? Neighboring station? Oh, yeah, we already talked about this. Who the hell is Cornell? They're indeed holed up in Core City. Perhaps an organization from the oligarchs will be of assistance there. Though we have to give their fame so, somehow. Alright, it's, it's been real. Thanks, thanks, Oss. Okay, so here comes the time where I go everywhere and say, Hey, do you. Hey, Newton. I saved your life, buddy. Uh, see, I'll thank you for us here left. Never think properly. Uh, how you feeling, man? Better. Legs still hurting, but as soon as he laughs, <laughs> gotta relax with the rest. You do that. Take care of yourself. I will. Cheers. See, we're, we're buddies. We're buddies. No, I. Uh, let's need the guy to, like, uh. Old Jonas. Hey, he made his way in there. Cool. Let's barter, baby. Anything better? I'm on, like, the Trapper's Belt of Ultimate Trappering. Chappering. Yeah, but I'm good at this. Three. He wants three of them. He may have three of these. Four credits. Great. <laughs> um, let's look around see if he has anything that's amazing. Shock bolt. I also got the recipe. What is this? Iron gut pill. Hmm. So, but it's a pill. Maybe I can take it without too much chemistry. Yeah, that's fine. I know it should just be a... Well, we'll try. Well, no, let's just take away these and give them that. Split them in half. And take away... 26 of them. No. So. Split this in half. 
putting our 13 on the table. Split it in half. This, the easiest way I could do is kind of like just split it until the trade gets to work out. So you're just using SGS currents at, at the right thing. Like, uh, now here's the thing. When I do level up, I'm debating taking electronics just because... Uh, well, first off, let's find out about this iron gut pill. Because Lord knows what that is. Okay, cool. Blueprint downloaded. Iron Guts. Iron Guts takes you for biological hazards. We created from taurine and gizzard enzymes. So we need capsules, gizzard enzymes, and taurine, which we have. Okay. Good to know. That's what that is. Uh, what was the other thing I was thinking about when it came to talking to him? Oh, God. It's, I'm talking to him just for a second to figure out what it was. Yeah, no. Shoot. Just plumb forgot. Well, hey, this that's the way it happens. All right, so we're, we're doing a little bit of our shopping around Core City. I'm sorry, SGS. And leveling up. Oh, yeah, it was the shock bolts. Because if I get at least 20, um, I'll be able to uh, make shock bolts. And shock bolts, because basically it looks like you need to have... The primary micro dischargers uh, was something I could have bought from from him. You put a battery around it, put some bolts on there. Um, I don't know why you'd want to make them more difficult than that, but it looks like you need at least 20 to work with them. So, is it worth it throwing 20 into a resource? I don't know. Yeah, what do you? That's uh, what Harold say at the bar. A couple good things to say about you. Yeah, we're thoughts of faceless. If I had to guess, say the core city probably overstepped some boundaries and messed underground infrastructure in a way that was harmful to faceless. Say it's good to look at the past, actual credible accounts of face attacks, usually at powers of key infrastructure element, like a master ventilation or energy grid node. So you think they were about to power airflow detriments of faceless? Yeah, the guess, yeah, I don't know what extent faces rely on underground systems. They're humans, I think, or living beings at least, so they have to breathe. The machines have to be powered somehow. Oh, alright. Guy I've never talked to before. At least from what I remember. Hi, what's going on, Pascal? Apparently, I'm fully healed. Let's barter. Look at all that cool stuff you got, dog. Health hypo, psi booster, all that good stuff that we have. Okay, so you want some medicines, medical components, etc., etc., etc. Um, let's focus them. It's very interesting. Just. Bam! Critical chance by 15. It's very, very nice. Um, I can't reliably create... Well, I, actually, I can, I think. You know, syringes are always good. Ampules are always good. They're like nothing. Um... Split it. And split it. Twenty. And minus ten. Or six. Screw it. Whatever. You know what? I'll be too too cheap about this. Because if I stop by my locker, I bet you I will have um, something else. I'll have some of the abilities to do this. Because advanced health typos. What I was missing here, well, it's really the organic gel electrolyte. That's the one that's hard to, to come by. So buying advanced health hypos is not really a bad idea until we get to a certain point. Um, all right, let's go talk to engineering and cyber labs. Because I have some cool stuff that I kind of want to see what, what, what I would need to level up um, in terms of things. Yeah, what's up, man? Let's trade. Roger, Roger, Dodger. Okay, so you have a pretty good crossbow part for a hurricane, right? It's 43, and if I combine that with the materials that I got, which I think is like... This is another reason why I'm curious about putting up uh, electronics um, and the this, this super string to maximize the damage potential. I might be able to create a really nice crossbow. Um, so that's why I'm kind of looking at that. Um, so yeah, you know, there's, there's, there's things, and that's why part of me is 
wanting to do things a certain way. Uh, just double checking if there's anything I've failed to get from him in the past. Doesn't look like it. He's got the cheaper, um, easier to craft steel plates for bear traps, so it's ain't that much. Because we need uh, our mechanics to go up regardless to be able to do this. And, I don't know, have, have all the bloody... Yeah, I'll have to start. Looks like we're officially at the point where I'll have to start paying the stitching currency. I'm fine with it, though. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know if electric, so... Cool. Oh, now he's... He didn't take all the stitching. Damn. Yeah. Alright, that was, that was my bad. I'll admit it. Um... Okay, so the idea is that I kind of want to get this. I mean, it's quality 54. It looks pretty good. It requires a lot to do here. Sometimes you just got to take a chance, you know, and and then go for it. Let's make it all these minus, like, two. Well, I don't know. Let's see if even one will do the trick. Yeah, I will so <laughs> I know right it's like so close yet so very far it's still accepted looks like try another three yeah he will look at that hola and we made this go so my reasoning, and we'll sort this hazardous materials along. Oh yeah, I already know this one, man. So you want to buy this from me? Shoot, give me some money. Yeah, he pays me in SGS currency, making everything I just did fucking at being useless. Pardon my French. Uh, ha, 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 da, 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 da. Whatever. That's fine. Give me some better lockpicks. Okay. Oh, overburdened. Of course I am, because I bought another steel plate. So, part of this is for the bear traps. I just want to get this out of the way. The crappy one, because this requires more, but this requires less. And we can go, good old burr poison. Kaboom, boom, boom. And then we got ourselves some more of the bear, good old bear traps. Uh, man, I got a lot of burger poison. Um, probably because I killed a lot. But see, this one is a better one for the steel plates, which I don't think matters for traps, but it might matter for other things. But it's going to make life interesting. Um, the other part that I'm looking at here is we got this. If I get 25 in electronics, I might be able to put a much better scope on here because see, that's part of it. And this super string. Actually, see, look, it says Super Hurricane Crossbow, which is already getting very close to um, the damage potential that I have here. Uh, but is it going to... And if I put this on here, would the precision move to be worthwhile? Um, you know, so that's really kind of where we're at to figure things out. So we're going to just real quick talk to one other guy. The guy who knows about electronics, after all. Hey, it was a uh, Ezra. Yeah, better than Ezra, whatever. All this stuff. The Mark IIs, the Mark Ones, all the batteries. Uh huh. Plus, I can buy this, and I can make shock bolts all on my own. What else? The Bill Taser, Psychic Headband. Goggles, I suppose. I mean, I'm wearing some of them, some of them every now and then. Uh, yeah, the cloaking device is way beyond me. Uh, uh, uh. I got any cool these? Yeah. Maybe got better tracking goggles on me. All right, but. So the point in all this is that I think I might want to actually put the points in so that I'll be able to, A, use a really cool extra scope thing 
like this on a crossbow to potentially make it awesome. That plus I can make my own shock bolts, and shock bolts are useful for against things that I can't just do mechanical damage at, plus it stuns them and yada yada. Plus there's not a cooldown on them, like the tranquilizer bolts. You know, I mean, 12 turn cooldown for God's sakes. Um, and they can shoot, and they can stun, and they can do all this sort of stuff. So okay, time for the leveling. I don't know why I did it like that. Okay, so one, bam. Perception goes up to 10. I am the master of perception and perceiving things. Hip, hip, huzzah. Make sure this goes up as high as it can before I even look. I gotta see when I go down here. Uh, special attacks, next special bolt attack. Out of combat, ambush is interesting. Hypertoxicity. Does that mean it's good self here too? Disassemble, never really need it. Sure, step is kind of not it. Uh, looks like I'm still at that point to where I need to get higher ranked. I mean, I might have to take things like aim shot just to be able to do whatever, but it looks like I'll have to actually get higher, higher and higher on the feats to check it out. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're there. See, I can't even take elemental bolts, which would be awesome, but can't do it yet. Deadly snares. Yeah. Always critically hit against targets caught in bear traps or acidic entanglements. Yeah, deadly snares. But I literally cannot take that because my base cannot go any higher than this. So, with that in mind, Deadly Snares being the way to go, and how many more levels it's going to take. I, I can't even take uh, Critical Power, which definitely these two have some good things to be put together in here. So really, I have to look at towards the shooter. We have Sharpshooter, which is just good old critical damage bonus with all these things, which is fantastic um and i just gotta have to look for what else am i really kind of heading towards i mean because eventually i'll be working uh towards raising my dexterity perhaps evasion evasion evasive maneuvers i guess i'm gonna be said about that too so i'm just looking towards what i'll be heading towards otherwise pinning no uh, chemical pistols, nope. Nope. Fancy footwork, that's a dance. Melee attack, excuse me. Snipe. Okay, now the snipe is the one that special attack crossbow that deals whatever damage plus additional 1% per stealth skill point can only be used in stealth and it can't critically hit. But it requires the feet aim shot in order to even get it. Um, and that is one way to open up combat. The other way to open up combat with the potential of doing a whole bunch of things. See, Trap Expert is kind of one of the things that... Because um, you know, it allows you to... Oh, I thought it was actually one of them was the one where you can put traps in combat. I forgot which one it was. Quick tinkering, is that it? Yeah, I need to dexterity 75. Yeah, but being able to put a trap in combat is really, really good. Um, Alright, so... We're moving back. We know where we're heading. We just can't take it yet. But see, special tactics... Out of bolts... So, grants the ability to activate your action point cost with your next special bolt attack. So you do that plus an adrenaline shot. You can potentially shoot them with a... With a, you know, get up right next to the, the the bad guy, or you can shoot him with a nasty bolt that will cost no action points. Then you do two shots, plus your adrenaline shot yourself, and you're bim boom, you're doing a lot of damage to these bad guys. Um, that's pretty cool. There's also the idea of being better about my poisons and, and, and leaking them out. Um, sprint, Skinner, Recklessness, Quick Pockets. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's something to be said about that. But paranoia 
is also one of those things that like I'm really, really tempted to take. But I think it's probably better to work towards stuff that I know I will be taking later. So like aim shot will make it so that taking the sniping thing eventually will be worthwhile. But the sniping thing is kind of going against uh, special tactics, but I don't know. I'm going to take it. I'm going special tactics and we'll see where it gets us in the future. So, all right, we got that and we have to work on the rest of our skills. Boom, 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 boom. We, of course, ignore things that are good for us because we're stupid. Make sure we can actually lockpick and hack our way around places because that is what's helpful. Mechanics have to go to at least 25. Okay, let's see what we can do. Stealth is already wicked high, but I, I like it like that. I like it like that. Hacking, I'm getting a nice substantial boost from my intelligence. How far can we... Because we got to get to 25. It's just not taking any points at all. It gets us to 25. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I think it's the way to go. Uh, my lock picking is still all the way as high as it can go. Um, funny enough, my hacking can be a heck of a lot better. And usually when left with one point in these style of situations, I like to throw it on the fire for something that will be increased and just better chances to spot traps and such. Really ought to be considering more on these. I, I feel like I'm neglecting the hell out of them. Let me know in the comments, guys. You guys who, uh, if you feel like you are neglecting the heck out of your defenses. You know, because I was good good about it for a while, but then I went away. Alright, so we know a little bit of electronics now. I'm pressing the button. Now that I've done so, for saving it, it's canon. Poor choices have been made. Um, but now... That we have this we're going boom 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 okay so what we have here by adding in this super aware scope on the super scope super circuiting host crossbow is we're getting a little bit less damage than the one i currently have here but and it costs more points it's got less critical chance <laughs> it's it's move and shoot precision is not so bad but, yeah, I think we're just going to need to have a better thing than a scoped, uh, than just this kind of crossbow. And I think that's just it. Because a hurricane, this is a tornado version, we're going to need to get the next step up. So, before I use, like, this component on it and this. Now, we'll just go away from that for a second. Um, beyond that, chemical bolts... Do we just, like, decide that how much chemical this, does this need? Syringes and arrows. Yeah, oh, it's, oh these are biology. Oh, yeah, these are these are different. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, sure, create some over here. Might as well. Okay, um, beyond that, the bear trap that I wanted to do properly. And we're still gonna use burr poison because it's good stuff. If I had the crazy um, other stuff, I would. But this actually helps our inventory quite a bit. Uh, and the stupid shock bolts. At least this works out. I need to buy more of those things. Hey, I think it was, weren't you here, the guys that wanted to talk to you about that? Hi, yeah, what's up? Give me, let's say six. I don't know what things are worth. Oh, this costs like nothing. Okay, wants well, more than two. <laughs> Ah, uh, splitting it up and doing it like this. Wesley Crusher.
Ah, I close. Whatever. Fine. You know, it's too old. You know, too old for this stuff. Talk in between the thing here, but all right, let's try this real quick. You put the bolts on. You put the bolts on in. You put the psychotic thing on. You put a cheap battery on. Electronics 20. Yeah, if I add more, which these are supposed to be secondary micro discharger. Okay, which makes them somehow better in some way. Um, but I'm able to create shock bolts by doing so. And I could do it twice. Bam. Okay, so I don't regret getting the electronics up there to be able to do that. I do regret that I feel like um, I need to get the proper standing for some of this stuff. But, uh, you know, that will come in time. Yeah, boom. Mechanical bolts. We got lots of those. All right. So, I know I've done a lot of just talking and moving and doing the thing um, in this episode. And I really very much appreciate everyone's patience with me as I'm playing under rail. Um, some of this stuff should be done off camera. But sometimes I just need to think out loud. And I'm one of those people, honestly, it's, it works really well for being an LP here, that I think out loud um, while I'm talking. You know, I talk it out. Figure out what's in my head as I go along so you know it's been it's very helpful to be able to be able to, uh, to talk and do all this sort of stuff with some of these less interesting episodes because that's what they are I, I know I'm not I'm not ignoring I'm not this what can I do and powerful anticoagulant you don't have any mag that cool stuff do you it doesn't look like he does Ugh, acid collecting So, see, I'm wondering, do I have to get, like, the different sort of uh, vials in order to perhaps make this stuff? So, I'll, these are things I'll look up and I'll figure it out. But a question I have for all of you is, one, I'll be heading towards Core City unless there's something else, somebody else that it, people think I need to be checking out. Beyond that, I'll do some inventory management to take just what's needed and what's not um, before I go. Uh, and whether or not you feel that I should be working towards um, anything in particular that's jumping out at you that's super necessary. Because I just want to hear what's going on um, from all of you. And this episode is already running long. And you'll see me going over to this. I actually will quick though leave it on the locker to show all the stuff I've thrown in there. And maybe perhaps I've made a huge mistake and there's something that's great. So kind of giving you an indication of the stuff that I've left in here. Like, well, I'm never going to be able to use those until later on. Oh yeah, the jawbone. Yeah, if I would have put my thing there, I could have been able to, to do that. Unload all the ammo from the weapon for 5 AP. That's such a... Does this... I just don't... It's weird. I don't understand exactly how this thing works. Maybe this is the way to go, though. I have no idea. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Underrail. You guys rock, and I will catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>